my video for April the 21st, 2018, is entitled Theft of Human Rights and Violation of Trust. Yes, I know that humans are ignorant, although I do not think we are responsible for that condition. After all, we have been dumbed down and we don't have to look back very far in our history. Those who wrote the founding documents in US history were very smart men and they based their documents of confederation on the Magna Carta, which recognized the natural sovereignty of human beings. Yes, the Articles of Confederation predated the U.S. Constitution that opened with the preamble, quote, We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America." End quote. These were visionaries to be sure, and they were coming up against established monarchies that claimed authority by alleged inheritance. It doesn't take a genius to see how far we have deviated from the founding principles. Will there ever be accountability for gross violations and restoration of our natural rights, hopefully there will. Yesterday I read too very long, or had read to me actually on a Bonner Reader, uh, two very long articles about the US Constitution and the, uh, the situation which we find ourselves now in the 21st century. Uh, again, in the 18th century, uh, our founding fathers in the United States gave us the Articles of Confederation and uh, the uh, Constitution and especially the Bill of Rights, uh, which of course I didn't name in the blurb, but the Bill of Rights are extremely important and especially the 13th Amendment, uh, the third amendment after the Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights, of course, were 10 amendments, and then the, there were three others added in the original Constitution, but then uh, after the Civil War, they dropped the original 13th Amendment and replaced it with a different one. But the original one uh, did forbid titles of nobility. In other words, it for, forbid all uh, bar attorneys from holding public office in the United States of any kind, because there was no such thing as dual citizenship. That was ridiculous. And yet, in our modern age, there are many dual citizens, and especially citizens of Israel and the United States, which is also a violation of the Constitution. Uh, and they hold uh, offices uh, that are not elected offices. They are offices by, by their own decree. <laughs> uh, and they dictate to the elected officials what can and cannot be done. They are the money powers, the barons, if you will, of the modern establishment. And uh, we need to look only at our money which says on it in the United States, in God we trust. But what God are we talking about? Are we talking about the God that gave us all human rights and individual rights that were not to be violated by any monarchy, by any ruling elite, or any power uh, that dominates and, and controls us? God obviously has allowed such anomal an anomaly to take place and, and such violations to not only to occur, but to seemingly accelerate in the modern age that we live in. I, as I've said before, very much wanted to see the restoration of the Republic as it was founded. I was the Secretary of State for, for Florida um, in the movement to reestablish that republic, 
which is not a democracy. A republic and a democracy are not the same thing. And the understanding is that most people are not aware enough and um, educated to the point where they're able to make right decisions. So yes, the people elect representatives, be they senators or in the House of Representatives or other people to stand up supposedly for our rights. But what's happened is everything has become corporatized and the law of the land is virtually suspended. Yes, there are people like Anna von Reitz and others that are trying, still trying to reestablish the foundation of our nation uh, based on constitutional law and the law of the land. But maritime law has replaced the law of the land. The pirates took over the whole nation. And yes, I'm, I'm well aware that the rights of Native Americans, so-called, and uh, African slaves that were brought over here and, and became Americans, we are a melting pot. I'm aware that the rights of dark-skinned people were tremendously violated by Caucasians from Europe. I'm, I'm well aware of all of this as part of our history. And I still long with all of my heart to see human rights restored and to see trust restored in God. We don't trust in God. I, I, I would like to see God be God, but I've had friends, as I've said in recent videos, I've had friends that were part of, uh, a part of the church, if you will, that have, given up and now claim atheism as their principle. I, I want there to be trust in creating or in the creator that has created this world. I don't believe that we were created by demons, but we certainly have been influenced by demons. And the demons run the monarchies. The demons run the political establishment. The demons run the, the monetary establishment. The demons are the corporate, the, the, the dead corpses that have taken over human rights and violated all of us folks. Do you not understand that you are being violated by our government? which is a mind control system. These are things that, that I wrestle with and I, I try to talk to God and say, God, when are you going to take responsibility? And people tell me, Ron, it's not up to God, it's up to us. Well, if it's up to us, we lose. That's, I'm sorry, I don't see humanity co in a cohesive enough state to be able to rise up and take back that which is our natural right. We've lost our natural rights, our, our birth rights, if you will, have been taken away from us. And we are from the very beginning, wards of the state. And we don't even know that, but that's the fact. That's the reality of the world that we live in, not just in the United States, but all over the planet we have had charlatans take over and claim dictatorial control over us and we are slaves we are slaves like it or not we are slaves of their system and their system is corrupt their system is a lying system it's not truthful and it's certainly not loving i wish we could really get it and I wish we could get the help that we need to take out the people that have robbed all of us from our natural inheritance. Thank you for listening and namaste.